Hello, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. Today we're going to be talking about the Diet Tone Fury F3 board. This board was designed by Kevin Berner in cooperation with Diet Tone and Two Dog RC. We took some of the design we had in our Fury F3 original board and then we updated it for, to make it an all in one and include the OSD and a current sensor. And then Diet Tone wanted something that they could easily put in their ARPS that was reliable, powerful, and an all-in-one board. So this is the back side of the board. I'll tell you why I'm starting there in a second. So basically we've got a four ounce copper, six layer PCB. It's got ESC and battery leads and gold plated tabs. And what's really nice is you've got these gold plated tabs you see in the back and then the JST in the front. So Diatone wanted something with the JSTs to make it so you could plug into an ARF, but we wanted to make sure that if these broke off, you're not stranded, you, should, you can fix that. So on the back here, let me turn it this way. This is your current sensor. Um, and then here's where you're gonna plug in your motors. You got your positive, negative, and signal. Positive, negative, and signal. Positive, negative, signal. Uh, and there's four. This is the UART for your receiver, or not UART, your connector for your receiver. I'm gonna go here first, for a good reason. Okay, so the way this goes, S bus, PPM, then ground, and then 3.3 or five volt. There's a little solder jumper right here that you can desolder these two connectors and connect the far pin and the center pin and you can be 3.3 volts if you're using spectrum. So all you have to do is desolder this to connector and then solder to here to here, the middle one to the far one. And then you'll be good to go with the 3.3. So then S bus or PPM, whatever you need. And then the wires are included. Or you can just direct solder or you can connect to the JST. Then up this line, we've got current sensor, which you won't need because there's one on board. This is the LED signal wire. If you're going to do controllable LEDs, the WS201112s or 11s. And then these two are for programming. Here's an RSSI. Here's your buzzer, positive and negative. Video in, 5 volts, ground, video out. So video in, 5 volts, ground, video out. The, the video in is your camera, power for your camera, ground for your camera. And you should also ground here to your VTX so that the grounds are the same. And then here's ground VCC, which you really won't need on this board if you're using it as a PDB. So let's flip it over here. Let's talk about what we got here. So you've got your USB. Here's your battery connectors go. So you don't need to hook a VCC battery up because right here is a VCC. It's gonna, the flight controller is gonna know your battery voltage. It's also gonna get the current pulled through these tabs via that current sensor on the back. Here's UART1, UART2, and the, the layout is the same as on the bottom here. It, it tells you RX, TX, 5 volt ground. And now you, you get connectors. You know, this comes with all the connectors you need and then more. It's a, it's a nice big bag of connectors. There you go. You got a buzzer, extra connectors, standard connectors, and then rubber gummies. The rubber gummies are for soft mounting. You put the rubber gummy here and that way it, it takes away some vibration. Okay, and then on this big tab at the back, this is where you get like a big wire. You got this one is going to go to your ESCs. So you have a big wire that's got one, two, six, seven, eight pins in it. All right, so you get this wiring harness with this eight wires coming off of it. And instructions have it pretty well labeled as well. So this is your ground, five volts ground, five volts here, and then, uh, which probably won't, aren't really gonna need, and then you've got your one, two, three, four speed controllers, which you'll need, you'll need those two wires, and then the LED wire is this one, right here, the second last one, and the current sensor you won't need. So basically you only need these wires off of this harness. Then you've got this harness, and this is gonna be where all your good stuff gets plugged into. So what I would do for the ESCs, you got this wire, right? Take each one of these, desolder the signal wire off your ESC and just solder this directly to your ESC. Then if you need to change out your flight control board, 
just pop and you're done. Now you also remember got your ESCs can go all, all right in here as well. So you've got two different ways to hook up your speed controllers. That's the beauty of this board. That's kind of why it's unique. Well, it looks like my cookies are done. My batteries are finishing up in the background. All right, so this big connector here, you get. this is where you're going to have your buzzer, your video, and your camera get plugged into there. Now this uses the Betaflight firmware, Betaflight Fury F3 OSD is what you need to flash on this one. Well, that's a general overview. I'll put some specs up on the description somewhere along here of, of what's on the board. So MPU 6000, it's got 16 megabytes of flash, max current or continuous current is 140. Uh, the BEC is rated for one and a half amps. That's off your five volt. So for your receiver and anything else. And your outputs max at 35 amps on each speed controller, which makes sense because that's four times 35 is 140. And it's a standard mounting. Uh, well, if you'd like one of these, along with this bag of all these parts and one of these stickers, come to 2dogrc.com. Thank you.